first came the cars, then came the traffic. As more of us took vehicles to the road, our productivity went down, our stress levels went up. Today, real-time technology equips drivers with information that may not eliminate traffic, but at least we know what lies on the road ahead. For Boston commuter Debbie Bain, that makes all the difference. A navigation app on her smartphone gives her real-time traffic updates. Now knowing that information doesn't change the fact that I'm in traffic, but I'm much calmer about it now than I feel like I used to be. Does it fix traffic? No. Does it eliminate traffic? No. But it arms me with the information to be able to figure out what to do with that. If the future could eliminate traffic, that would be awesome. Debbie's using today's technology. Now, imagine going a few steps further. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University say they can reduce commute times of urban workers by 40% using virtual traffic lights. With this technology, traffic lights will be created on demand when a conflict is detected, that both of us are trying to cross this intersection, and they will be torn down as soon as we don't need it. Virtual traffic lights are only possible because of connected vehicle technology, which the US hopes to mandate for all cars in the future. So our solution leverages this capability and says, since cars can talk to each other, we can manage the traffic control at intersections without infrastructure-based traffic lights. The virtual light is delivered to the driver through a display unit when the driver is looking through the windshield, he sees on the windshield that going straight is a green light, turning right is a red light. So they come, they gradually stop at the intersection. So for 30 seconds, the vertical direction continues their trip. And after that 30 seconds, the responsibility of acting as the virtual traffic light passes over to the other direction. So in a round robin fashion, this continues and it's a seamless process. The driver doesn't get involved in this decision making. The developers say virtual traffic lights will cut carbon emissions, reduce accidents and perhaps most usefully every day, cut those annoying commute times. What we are proposing is actually, it's almost like we are giving additional life to people life that is wasted on the road.